to just go over the controls of this boat and how to run it. Um, the difference in these boats and uh, smaller vessels uh, like pontoons and just like little bow riders is um, you have you really have to play with the trim on these boats as well as the uh, trim tabs. And uh, like for instance, to get this boat up on plane, you have to put your tabs all the way down. Uh, you want to put put them back up once you're on plane. Uh, then once you're on plane, you, you uh, start playing with the trim of the drives a little bit and uh, you're constantly adjusting trim on one of these boats. Uh, on like a pontoon boat, you literally just put it in gear and go and that's why pontoons are so appealing to most people. In my opinion, they're not really a boat. This, this right here is a boat. So right here, these are my throttles and as I mentioned before in the old videos, um, we're filming. We're making a YouTube video. <laughs> um, so as I mentioned before, Fountain, uh, back in the day, they had their throttles and uh, shifters on the left side for the uh, throttle guy when they were racing. And uh, it just has stayed on the helm that way for years. And um, it's kind of, it was very hard getting used to. I'm still not used to it. Uh, my old ball hall, they were on the right side like most boats, and I'm constantly reaching down here to take it out of gear. So, and another thing that's a little bit different, uh, these are Lavorsi um, controls. Um, the, sometimes the shifters are side by side and the throttles are side by side. And this one, they're one on each side, the shifters and the throttles in the middle. That gets confusing too. A lot of times I'll go to put it, um, you know, in forward and I'll rev it up and it's in reverse. I've done that a lot. Still getting used to this boat. But basically, what you want to do on a, on a fountain like this is you want to look at your indicators over here. And right now, I've got my tabs, my trim tabs, down here to about four and a half. And that might be a little bit overkill, but right now, so at the back of the boat, the stern, they're pointed down. And what that does is when I start going, it's going to lift my stern up out of the water. And the, you'll hear the exhaust get louder here in a minute when I get on it. And uh, once you hear the exhaust getting louder, that means you're getting on plane. That means the exhaust isn't underwater anymore, the swim platform's above the water line and it gets a lot more louder. So once that happens, I wait till it gets all the way on, pl on plane and it starts leveling out. Then I hit my uh, switch right here, watch the indicators. So I, I hold that switch down and that's showing me that the tabs are lifting up. So what that's doing is taking all that drag away and then you're just on the, the uh, keel of the boat at that point. Then I'll start accelerating, and uh, then I'll, I'll start messing with my uh, trim here. And this boat in particular, the, the trim is very uh, touchy on it. You don't ever just hold the trim button down. Uh, I do it just, I click it one time, and it's got indicators here that move. So that's putting my drives out, which is away from the boat, and in. And you want to be all the way in when you're getting on plane. You only go out once you're all the way on plane and you're trying to increase speed and uh, you know get that boat really up high out of the water and re uh, reduce drag. So, um, is there anybody up there? We'll, okay, so we'll do a run real quick. We'll get it on plane. Like I said, I'm gonna put my draw or my tabs all the way down. Well, not all the way. I run about four. So get on a little bit. I don't ever floor it out of the hole. It's really hard on, on a drive when you do that. So what I'm going to do right now, all right, the boat's, the boat's sitting like this right now. You can point over the bow. Now I'm going to get on it because I can't see nothing right now. It's quiet. There's the exhaust getting louder. It's coming on plane. We're on plane now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise my tabs up. So now I got rid of that drag. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna start hitting my trim. Get my trim up. We're doing 50 miles an hour right now. We're not even touching that step uh, on this hole. It doesn't come up on that step to about 62 miles an hour. So we're just cruising right now. That's about half throttle, 3,800 RPMs. Now I'm gonna lay into it. We'll do a high speed run real quick. I'm gonna start hitting that trim up. I'll put my tabs down a little bit. So 
and don't start bouncing the bow too much. I run those about two and a half. That's my Reggie's recommendation. So right now we're doing 68. We're up on that step. You can feel the boat getting lighter. I'm going to accelerate some more. We'll want open it wide open. So that's all the motor's got right now. Now watch. I'm going to hit this button on the side here with my throttle. That's my trail. Boat's getting lighter and lighter. It's getting higher up on the water. We're going upstream right now. Boat's getting super light. Still doing 70. All right, I'm putting my tabs down. You really got to put tab, your tabs down to slow these boats down. We're going to turn this thing around. We'll go downstream, see what we can get out of it. I GPSed it at 75 the other day. So I'm telling you what, guys, when you get this boat, all the way up on plane, it gets up on that step, and you start getting your trim up. Uh, it gets so light. I mean, I've it, it's there's no experience like it compared to uh, a regular V-bottom boat. I mean, that notched stern and that pad that pad kill and the step. There's just so little drag on these holes. I mean, you're only got about 18 inches of the boat in the water. The only thing that drives that's in the water is the props. And when you're doing 70 like that. The boat is literally floating, and uh, it's an eerie feeling because, honestly, in rough water, if you've got that much trim like I had just now, you'd, you'd lose it. So we'll do another high-speed run here. I got my tabs down, put my drives all the way in. We'll run it back one more time. show you real quick. Let me get it down. We're still doing 60 miles an hour right now. I thought we were doing 40. This thing just is so smooth and uh, takes anything you throw at it. So right now we're doing 50. I'll say point out the bow of the boat. I'm going to put one of my tabs down all the way. I'm going to show you how quick it makes this boat tilt to one side. There it is. See that? The boat's completely sideways right now, going straight. See how quick that was? You need, you know, on the river right here, you don't need that necessarily, but uh, when you get in rough waters, you want to be able to move those tabs quick. And the whole time, and this really should go for any boat, so the whole time, I'm running this boat literally all day long. I'm always looking. Let me get, come off plane here real quick. So the whole time I'm running a, this boat, and any boat I'm on, I'm 
constantly looking at the gauges. I'm looking at my water pressure gauge, make sure my impellers are, are pumping water. I'm w watching my water temps, uh, both of them, one for each engine. Oh, there's a gauge for each engine. Um, I'm looking at my oil pressures. Uh, you know, boats, they're not like cars. There's a lot more that can go wrong. You know, you, do, you don't just drive. It's constantly monitoring stuff, constantly, uh, constantly, oh, that's Kurt. Uh, you're constantly uh, watching or you know adjusting you know, on your trim and your drives um, it's a full-time job <laughs> so I didn't realize it at the time but while I was running this boat today the silent choice was set to silent which made the exhaust come out of the prop and these 496s produce a lot of back pressure and believe it or not uh, running the exhaust through the prop instead of the uh, through hole exhaust will make you lose a few miles per hour and that pretty sure that's why i didn't make it past 72 today even downstream all right guys that does it for this video thank you so much for watching i appreciate all of my subscribers if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more on this boat and my other projects make sure you hit that subscribe button like share this video comment i appreciate it all and uh there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out we're going to be going to a poker run in september lake cumberland uh, possibly Lake of the Ozarks, I'm not sure yet, but there's going to be a lot of good content coming up, so stay tuned.